Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and we are once again at GamePod Combat Zone in Antioch, California, the largest indoor CQB arena in all of North America. And we are looking at the Umarex HNK UMP45 Elite. Now, right now, there are a couple versions of the UMP out on the market today. And being that this is the elite version, this is definitely the more high end. So let's jump into some of the details right now of why that is. Starting with the body, this gun is completely constructed out of polymer to mimic the material of the real steel version. And the polymer is something that I personally do like because it dramatically cuts down the weight, but it is extremely solid. I can tell you right now, there's no wobble on this gun whatsoever. Being that this gun is designed to be a CQB weapon, another great feature is the side folding stock. Pressing a button on the left side, it, the stock will securely lock into place that will dramatically cut down the size, making it really easy to turn those tight corners. This gun is also licensed by h &K, so we do have trademarks on the right and left side. Another great feature is that most of the controls are fully ambidextrous, such as the selector switch and the centered magazine release. On the top, we do have a standard Picatinny rail for any optics. I'd recommend going with another red dot that is a little bit higher to clear the iron sights. The iron sights are part of the gun itself and cannot be removed. On the handguard, we do have included rail segments on the right, left, and bottom of the gun for the ability to add even more attachments. Another feature that I do personally like is the charging handle on the left side. You can slide that back and lock it in place to give you access to the hop up and then release it once you've adjusted it correctly. The battery compartment for this gun is cleverly hidden in the receiver itself. Once you fold the stock to the side, you're going to have a trap door that's going to give you access to the battery compartment. But do keep in mind, it is a narrow compartment that is designed for a stick type battery or a very small LiPo. Included with this gun is going to be a 400 round high cap magazine and one thing that I do like is the included dummy round that does give it a cool look. Now one of the main reasons why this gun is the elite version is because it actually has a mechanical blowback system internally. It is going to feature a version 3 gearbox by Ares but it is going to be modified slightly to include a blowback that you can actually feel every time you fire. Out of the box, this gun's going to be shooting exactly where you need it for CQB play at 340 to 350 FPS. And it also retails for $235. So if you guys are interested in this gun, be sure to check it out on our website at airsoftgi.com. So otherwise guys, my name is Daniel. Big shout out once again to GamePod. This is GI TV. Thanks for watching.